Whoa, yeah. That is a good day out there. Gnarly waves, let me tell you. Uh, yeah, the ocean. The ocean can be a cold mistress, I'll tell you. Happy International Harvey Wallbanger Day. I know it's a summer type drink, but for some reason, every year on November 8th, and that's today actually, the day we're filming, we celebrate this fruity, citrus forward, sweet modern classic. It has a mixed up origin. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> when doesn't it? But it was one of the most popular drinks of the 1970s. I know because I've made countless Harvey Wallbangers over my lifetime. Our story reveals a tale of a Manhattan beach surfer, a largely forgotten bartender, and an ad man's marketing campaign. Legend has it that in the early 1950s there was a famous surfer in the United States called Tom Harvey. One day after carving up the waves with a huge wipeout in a surfing competition, Harvey found his way to a bar to drown his sorrows. It was Anton's Black Watch Bar on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. According to the legend, the Harvey Wallbanger was invented there in 1952 by three-time world champion bartender Donato Duke Anton. After Tom Harvey proceeded to get drunk on these sweet cocktails, he'd find himself banging into the walls, trying to find his way out the door. Or maybe he was just banging his head against the wall in frustration of being defeated in the competition. Or maybe he was just into that sort of thing. Who knows? <laughs> Tom. <laughs> the truth is, the surfer Tom Harvey can't be found in any records. He never existed. He just lives on as a legend. And for that matter, there's no evidence of Antone in the Black Watch Bar in Los Angeles during the 1950s and 60s. Supposedly, the man was living in Hartford, Connecticut during that period. But unlike Tom Harvey, we do know that Mr. Antone was a real person because you can read his 1992 obituary in the Hartford Courant. He started one of the nation's first mixology schools in California later expanding with several schools across the country, including one in Hartford. Antone was active in all aspects of the liquor industry. Born in 1917 in Brooklyn, in his youth he ran liquor for bootleggers. Got his first bartending job at a place called Diamond Jim Brady's and eventually he got into restaurant design and marketing. And although he's not quoted or mentioned in articles or advertisements before or during the banger craze, I'm guessing he probably had something to do with creating the Harvey Wallbanger because he gave us Harvey's Mexican cousin, the Freddy Fudpucker, which is basically a Harvey Wallbanger made with tequila. He also lays claim to inventing the rusty nail and the white Russian. Now, this is really debatable. You see, the bartending profession has a long history of fabricating truth and bartenders making claims on drink creations. Sometimes it's, it's just bar talk, man and few bartenders in history have ever come up with so many famous drinks. So one would doubt that Duke Antone invented all of them, really. This brings us to George Bedner, who in 1966 was uh, newly hired as a marketing director at McKesson Imports Company. He was looking for a way to boost Galliano sales. One theory is that Bedner heard about Antone's award-winning Italian fascination cocktail, which was made with uh, Galliano. He traveled to Hartford to see if Duke could create a few more cocktails featuring the liqueur. Now with the help of a commissioned graphic artist named Bill Young, a silly looking cartoon character was created to represent Harvey as its official national mascot with the catchphrase, Harvey Wallbanger is the name and I can be made. That 1969 pop art ad along with bumper stickers, buttons, shirts and mugs helped Galliano to become the number one most important liqueur during that time. Exporting, are you ready for this? 500,000 cases a year to the US. It's a lot of Galliano. By 1973 advertisements appeared for a pre-mixed can version of the Harvey Wallbanger. It was called the Club Wallbanger made with Smirnoff vodka. I never actually got to try one, but I guess it was designed to be taken with you wherever you went. Yeah, the 1970s, specializing in sweet drink combinations that saved bar owners time and money. 
It was a time period that helped bring about the near demise of the craft. Yeah. Okay, let's get banged up here ha, and make a Harvey Wallbanger. Okay, you know, if you're gonna make a cocktail, make it with fresh ingredients. So that's why I am squeezing these wonderful oranges and double straining to get all that juice, yeah. Okay, I think we're pretty close, you know. Typically the measurements in, the, in that ad called for six ounces of orange juice, but there are a lot of variations out there. I'm probably only gonna go with about four ounces. And let's see what we got. Oh, four ounces. Right on, baby. All right. <laughs> let's get rid of this stuff here, okay? We don't need that anymore. It's such a simple drink. You wanna grab your Collins glass or your beer glass or any glass you got. Tall, you want a tall glass, fill it full of ice. Vodka is what's needed. And I'm only gonna use an ounce. There are a lot of options out there on how strong you wanna make this, but I like to keep it light and refreshing. Sweet. Grab our four ounces of fresh squeezed, strained orange juice. Yeah. And then, grab our Galliano. Ha, yeah, new bottle. And we're just gonna float about a half an ounce over top. Or more. <laughs> and be very gentle. Just give it a light stir. Very, very gentle. And garnish. I got a little flag here with a cherry and an orange and a straw. <laughs> All right, let's give this a go. Oh yeah. It's a refreshing little summer sipper, or uh, perfect for a, a cold November 8th. <laughs> I know, it's just a screwdriver with the addition of Galliano, but <clears throat> it's kind of tasty. Yeah, I guess uh, if I'm making you guys work on a national holiday, I guess I better make you one too, eh? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Make a Harvey Wallbanger. Get all banged up, baby. <laughs> Cheers. I'm paddling my way to freedom. Get the hell out of Dodge, man. Yeah. <laughs> no more bartending for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a surfer. Where's my drink? I need my drink. <laughs> I need a drink. I got my Harvey Wallbanger. Mm. And you need to bang this subscribe button. Bang it good, baby. And check out the other videos. And if you're gonna make a Harvey Wallbanger, Make it with fresh orange juice. It changes everything. It's good, man. Mm. Yeah, summertime or November 8th. Who the hell knows?